Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you at home how to make a Kima naan bread. Quite popular, I've had quite a few requests for this. So um, I'm basically going to show you how to put this, the spiced mincemeat, into the naan. Now I have done a video on how to make the spiced mincemeat. So you need to make that first. So if you look under spiced Kima, I think it's under, Kima means mincemeat. Make that first and then we be ready to make the naan. Now we're going to make this user friendly for your house. So we're not going to need a tandoor, uh, we're just going to do it for the house. And thanks for subscribing, commenting and liking. So let's get cooking. Okay, so I've got some self-raising flour on a clean surface. You've got this beautiful naan dough. Now I've shown you how to make the naan dough video. So you need to have a look at two more videos, spiced uh, kima and the naan dough. Once you've got that, you'll be ready to go. Right. It's a little bit more complex than a plain naan because you've got to put the kima inside, stuffed. So what you need to do is you've got your, got your board dough of naan and then you're just kind of doing this, opening it up to like a bowl kind of shape. Yeah? So you're just literally putting pressure on the edges and creating a bit of space to put the uh, kima in. It's very important that you don't put too much kima in. If you put too much in, once you roll it, the meat's gonna come out from all around the uh, edges. So little is better than too much. So we've got it there, and now what we're doing is we're just covering it up. You see there, just covered that kima up, so you can't see it. Very important you get your back flat as well, because the keem is going to come out the back. So now, we've just you see, I've just made it flat. You're going to have little bits of red here, that doesn't matter. It's the main bit that's inside, you don't want that coming out. So I'm just going to add a little bit more flour. I'm just rolling it evenly. Can you see a little bit of kima is starting to come out? Well, it should be fine. Now, as long as you don't have massive chunks of the kima coming out, because the whole naan is just going to fall apart. So I've rolled it. Now, if you're quite advanced, you've seen my other video, then you know you can put some oil on there, use, use the, uh, uh, your palm, make it a little bit bigger, and then flick it in between your thumb to make it bigger. But I'm not gonna do that for this one. This is just gonna be a, a basic one for people. Um, but others, if you can, then by all means, use the other method. But the other methods are a little bit more skillful. Just make it bigger, make it round. Right, so you can see the lovely um, kima inside. Nice spiced kima. So kima goes in sheet kebab, goes in kima naan, um, it goes in some curries. So it's quite, uh, quite versatile in what we use it for. Okay, so we now got that. I haven't put any oil on there. Normally at tandoor, if I use a tandoor, I put oil, but as you've seen probably from my other video, if you get oil at the back, it's not going to stick. So if you're very new, don't put any oil in. Just leave it without oil. You might get a little bit of kind of the flour on top. So we've got a tawa, remember? We need a tawa. And that is going to act like a tandoor, the, the back piece. So we're going to get a little bit of water, make sure it sticks on. slightly bigger, more even. So that should be bubbling up like a tandoor, tandoor wood. Now it's starting to bubble up nicely. We don't want to leave it too much at the back because we know the back will get burnt. Now the difference between a plain and a keema, keema's got raw 
meat. So we would, I would say, to put the gas down and then leave leave this bit for at least a few minutes. I should think about three, four minutes. Let it cook the meat. With with any other breads, garlic, pastrami, plain, you don't have that because it hasn't got raw meat. When you do slow gas, you can go right close to it. So as you can see, I'm very close to the flame. But if it was on a high gas, it would just burn the top of the knife. What you want to do is, you see around here, it's not done. This bit's a bit burnt, but it's OK. Because, like I said, it's meat now. I want to make sure it's done. Okay, so that should be ready now. So just grab a spatula. There. As you see the bottom is fine, that's done, we're just going to add some ghee, Carnum ghee is the best brand there, most Indian restaurants use. Cutting it now in half, quarter. So there you go, as you can see, the meat is cooked now. It's not raw. If it's raw, you can see that texture. You know raw meat's meat. That's now come all into one. The other, the lovely bits of keema in there. Almost like a very thin layer of, of, um, of a burger. You know, it's a very thin layer of a burger. Then you've got the bread. It's really nice. You, you can put cheese on top. You can do quite a lot with it. But there you go. For all you keema naan lovers, I've definitely had a lot of requests for this. There you have it, a lovely keem and arm bread.